Um, this is not a video that, um, you know, we normally make. My mom was recently given three months to live, kind of out of nowhere. And if some of you guys have experienced uh, cancer, you know, in your family or parents, like you know that um, it can kind of seem to come out of nowhere. I'll give you context about that so that you kind of understand. I haven't experienced something like this, someone passing. Um, my mother was pregnant with me very young. She had me at 16. So, but my father died when I was four, so my mother was a uh, widow at 20. Um, so my dad died a long time ago and I don't remember that. So this is my mom passing, and you only get one mom in life, one mom. And so mine has, um, has three months to live. But I want to make this video because my mom will see it. I want her to see it. She watches our videos. Thank you, mom. A lot of times in life, we wish we said things to people who are no longer here. My mom is still here, even though she's dying. She's got stage four, now it's bone cancer. It started as um, the colon cancer um, spread to the liver, and now it's in the bones, and it's um, you know stage four. It's, I saw her last week, and you know she's frail, and she's you know. She looks like that, so, um, Mom, I love you. I'm gonna try to keep it short because uh, I'll be seeing you in person and I'll be saying nice things to you and sharing memories and um, reminiscent. And, um, but I want you to just know that I, I love you and that you've been a great person and that there's so many things about you that I admire. The way you're going through this, I mean, you just have acceptance. You understand that this is part of life. And I can't imagine being told that I have three months, and I might at some point, because we all have to go. And how would I respond to that? I'm very grateful for you. Without your life, I wouldn't have my life. And I'm very thankful for that because um, I'm a human being. She's a human, you're a human being. We get to experience life as people. Part of sharing this video with uh, our audience or anybody who's watching it is that um, we all go through things. And I wonder, um, how do you guys deal with it? How would you deal with it? When your grandfather or uncle or mom or dad had a year to live, what did you do? Was that tough? I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm sure that was tough, because you know what's tough? It's tough for the people who are still living. You know, the people who go, we don't, we don't truly know. Some of us, some of us have faith and we think but we don't know. But you know what it's tough for? The people who are here. My mom's husband. It's tough for him. My mom has acceptance. She's gonna go. But uh, her husband, they've been married for a long time and they, that's all they have is each other. You know, they have each other and their dogs and their little house. But they love it. They love their life and now uh, my mom is going to be taken from this man and uh, I wouldn't want to be him, you know? My mom has accepted this is her fate, but for the people who are here, and I'm sure some of you uh, are still grieving somebody that you've lost maybe a long time ago. And that's what lets me know that um, life is fragile. We need to just live as much as we can, be in the present as much as we can. I always don't understand when people want to focus on how somebody died, because it's not about how you died, it's about how you lived. And mom, you lived. You lived, you lived a hell of a life. You're still here. You still 
are here for some amazing memories. We talked about that. Like, you're not here to just wither away. You're here to maybe have the best life of the rest of your life you can have. And we talked about that. Is you can still have great memories. But in your life, you've lived ups and downs, ups and downs, mistakes, successes, love, loss, everything. And is there dignity in how, you know, my mom... I guess gets to pass, you know, she gets to have the last conversations with people, um, the last memories of people, but she knows that she's going to die. My wife, her father uh, passed away earlier this year and that was this very sudden thing. And I had a lot of sympathy for her because she didn't get to have the moment that I have right now where I get to share something with my mom, a good moment with and I can share this publicly, and I can talk to her privately. And when she passes, we can have great moments and, and we can have everything off the table. And, you know, some people don't get that. Their, their loved one dies of a heart attack or a stroke or something in a sudden. And, you know, I have sympathy for that. You know, my, my wife, that's how she had to deal with the loss of her father earlier this year. I mean, it kind of makes you feel and realize that, you know, if there are things that are worth saying um, and worth getting off your chest or off their chest or just mending or whatever it is that to do so, you know, not waiting for any time or saying, oh man, I wish I had to just, if you feel that you need to say something, then say it. There really is no way to end uh, this type of video. Just, um, I felt I wanted to just talk to people and um, connect as a real human being. And the last thing I'll just say to mom is that um, I'm thinking of you. And I think that's a, that's a noble thing when another human being is thinking about another human being that lets you know that in this case that you're loved we're going to do the best we can to make these last few months enjoyable for you and let you leave this life at peace and the way you want to. I thank you for my life. I thank you for many things. And I will talk to you soon.